Hey there, Virgo. Thank you so much for joining me. We're doing your love reading for right now. This reading is good for the present moment, regardless of the date. However, we are in the month of November, so technically it's a November reading. But listen, don't pay too much attention to the date, okay, when this reading was made. It's good for whenever it finds you, okay? It's good for right now. All right, uh, Virgo. Holy Spirit, we're connecting with the zodiac sign of Virgo. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for the sign of Virgo in love? in their relationships if you're single this reading is for you too it will just resonate with you in connection to any relationship in your life that isn't romantic all right let's see let's see Whew. <sighs> let me breathe why do i feel like breathing uh we have the justice card okay i'm seeing a bunch of grapes for whatever reason justice 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 all right so justice is about actions okay actions and consequences cause and effect does something need to be corrected the month of november brings about all right the opportunity if not the opportunity let's just say that um there is a resolution being found here guys the justice card we have the knight of swords Ooh, i like this oh this is justice there's justice what does that mean it means that something something that went wrong is turning out right is what this feels like now this is this this is this could be a good or a bad thing depending on what side you're on but overall, it's a good thing. Overall, it's a good thing. Even if something went wrong, you know, it doesn't matter whose fault it was. This is not about whose fault it is, okay? What's important is that there is a desire to do something. Like there's a genuine feeling there, right? It's just, it's, it's, it's have, it's that, it's, I'm hearing it's like a sorry and they mean it, right? It's not like an empty sorry. Like, okay, I'm sorry, but you're really not sorry. Like, this is like, I'm, I'm, this is also a, a genuine desire to want to correct something. So that's what's happening. That's what's going on right now, guys. I really like it. All right, let's see. Let's see. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Knight of Swords and the Justice card. Oh, I really like this. We have we have the queen. <laughs> look at look at the energy that we have, guys. We have the Queen of Swords. I mean, the Queen of Swords kind it she kind of gives you he or she, okay? This person gives you no choice, but they do give you a choice. And the choice is they give you no choice. <laughs> than to um i don't know make the situation right but they also give you the choice not to but they make things very clear they make things very clear This is pr pretty serious. Pretty much, guys, what I'm seeing here is um, this is a love and relationship reading. So there, somebody is correcting a certain action. You can't turn back the hands of time, but you can do something about the future, about the present. And that's what I see happening with the Knight of Swords. There's a genuine desire to want to do right. I'm hearing by you, by the relationship, that connection. And this is something that you will be able to see. It's like you can't fool you, they can't fool you, Virgo, Queen of Swords. No. It's like you you can tell when somebody's lying. You can tell when somebody is um, you can tell when somebody is lying. You can tell when somebody's not being genuine. Look at these cards, the Knight of Swords. 
the justice card. And then we have, on top of that, we have the Queen of Swords. So you can, this is you being fair. This isn't, this isn't cruel and unusual punishment. Right, this isn't cruel and unusual punishment. This also feels like, listen, you're going to, like whatever happened here, this is what I'm getting. Whatever happened, I feel like it was handled, um, I think it was handled proper, properly. Or, or, or at the very least, it's being handled proper, properly right now. Oh yeah. So listen, let's look into this further. But something that I'm picking up right now is what the message that I'm getting is this, like your actions were just, somebody's actions were just. You know, sometimes, okay. You think, all right, you know, something happens and you react to it or, or, or you deal with it in, in, in a bad way. This is not the case. But in case you're wondering, you didn't. A situation was handled properly. Now, that doesn't mean it was nice or that you liked it or that anybody liked it. It just means that it was fair. And fair isn't always um, pleasant. Not that it was unpleasant, but I'm just saying like fair is fair. Nothing more and le nothing less. Can it be a little cold? Can it be a little gen more gentle? Sure. But this isn't the time or the place, okay? Let's continue. <clears throat> This also says that whatever punishment, not that there was a punishment, but uh, whatever, ooh, we have the, ooh, okay, the punishment was death. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> well, I did say it was fair. <laughs> um, wait, wait a minute, look, the death, it landed, did, it landed reversed, it, and that was very unintentional, but that's significant, look, it's the death, but it's reversed. So somebody is uh, not being executed. <laughs> uh, they're not being executed. Um, what was I gonna say? Guys, please bear with me. I'm, I'm going to start sharing this a little more often with you guys. I have ADHD and everybody has ADHD. Everyone who has ADHD experiences different symptoms. And with me, with my particular ADHD type, I forget things. I lose my train of thought. So it's kind of like amnesia a little bit, but not quite. And that's happening to me a lot today. And it happens, doesn't happen all the time, but it happens when I'm mentally exhausted. And that could happen to anybody, right? When you're mentally exhausted, but more so for me, it's chronic. And I'm forgetting my train of thought a lot today. And you're probably thinking, well, you shouldn't be doing readings. Listen, you have to go to work, don't you? Well, so do I. I just can't say, oh, I can't do it today. You know, you just gotta do it. And, well, that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm, for I'm forgetting my train of thought a whole lot, guys. So please do bear with me. Mm, Knight of Swords, Justice, Queen of Swords. Uh, there was something really good that I was going to say about this. Come back to me. Come back to me. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Now, listen, you don't want to be a, se a second time offender. That's why you don't want to be a second time offender. Okay, because the punishment will be worse. <laughs> it will be, 
It was fair the second time. Look, and it will be fair. The, the, the It was fair the first time. Might not be the first time. God, I do hope it was. Second time offender. Well, your punishment is going to be, um, you're going to have a bigger punishment. So that's what that, I hope they're not a second time offender. Virgo, because listen, their punishment will, um, will be deserving. I'm hearing of their actions. The consequences will fit. We have the death card. All right. So, well, did you give somebody the boot? Somebody got the boot almost. I mean, they did, but then now it seems as though something uh, is being halted. So I'm dealing with those of you guys that um, an action, a, something happened that really affected the relationship quite drastically. But there's an opportunity, Justice, Queen of Swords, to make amends, to make things right. And I think that's what's happening here. That's why the death card is reversed. Like, okay, things end. Things ended. We broke up. <laughs> but it looks like we're coming out of this. We're coming out of this. Okay, let's continue. This is happening. This is going on right now, this month of November. If it's not November, right now. This is happening right now. Let's continue. Let's continue. We have the King of Cups, okay. I mean, some somebody, um, right now I heard somebody has to turn to mush. Something, somebody has to turn to mush. What does that mean? I think it means that somebody needs to, um, it doesn't necessarily mean vulnerable, but it's like, King of Cups, somebody needs to step into their feminine energy for sure. And I think it's this King of Cups here. This is emo emotional maturity. So what's happening, what's going on? I see an emotionally mature gentleman, person, King of Cups, who's emotionally stable, cool calm collected and i'm hearing and that needs to happen you see how the waters with every deck the king of cups or just every card and in, in a different in every deck is going to be depicted slightly different sometimes the water behind the uh, the king of cups it's, it's a wave here is it's calm waters do you see so we can talk this is about be like I want to talk. If it's not talking, like I, I'm I'm meeting you. I'm meeting you from this place of emotional intelligence. Tell me more about this King of Cups. There could be a cancer. There could be um oh look, I'm so glad to see this Queen of Cups here. Ah, okay, this is lovely. We have the seven of cups. So like what's going to happen? So things um, so far up until now, things have been maybe a little bit confusing. Um, it's been difficult to foresee the future. With the seven of cups, like uh, this is also being lost, like not really knowing perhaps what decision or what choice to make. There's just like a lot going on. Uh, and you see how this person has their hands up like that? Like, uh, I don't really, there's confusion. There's confusion, guys. And what does that mean? Well, confusion leads to misunderstandings. So I think that this is advice too, guys. Like there's, um, there is the possibility of misunderstandings because the seven of cups is here. So it's important to understand that 
not everything that appears a certain way is the way that it appears. So what advice could be, for example, don't jump into conclusions, right? Wait until, you know, you get a bigger picture of things before you do something or say something or think something, right? Now, I'm so glad that the Queen of Cups is here because to me, it's like both of these people are meeting each other. Um, they're like, they're on the same page. And you know what this also says? That we have two people that are prepared for, should we call it healing? What else can I call it? These two people are prepared. Energetically, I think that uh, they're pretty aligned. And, and well, that uh, makes for better exchanges, right? That, that in, that improves the chances, right, of things turning out and, you know, having a good outcome. We have the Three of Swords. I, I suppose this is a sorry. This is a sorry. Are you both sorry? Could be. Both of you are sorry. <laughs> Could be. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry too. Okay. Both of both of us are sorry. Okay. Three of swords. That's what's happening. That's what's going on. Um. Do I grab? Let's grab one of these cards. Yeah. That's what's happening. That's what's going on. What else am I seeing? I mean, this was sad. Three of swords. Like, this is sad. Look, it's raining. Ooh, it's gloomy. It's sad. It's depressing. Like, this didn't feel good. Do we agree? Agree. <laughs> This was very unpleasant. Like I we like like this was bad. Agree, agree. Look, ocean, which is standing out in both of these cards. The ocean. What does it say? It says, Ocean, go with the flow and flow with the glow. Like take it easy. Things going with the flow. You know, this, I like this. Okay. So this is things happening effortlessly. Go with the flow. Like don't force anything. Perhaps maybe that could be a lesson that both of you are learning. The justice card. Go with the flow and flow with the glow. Okay. Don't force anything. I can see things. We can say falling into place. Things feel feel at ease, guys. Excuse me. Go with the flow. Oh, this feels so nice. Like it's just, it's, it's so easy. It doesn't feel complicated. It doesn't feel forced. And, and that in itself is just creating, it's creating an atmosphere. Tell me more. Oh, there's a card. I didn't see this come out. Award. Accept your well-earned well prize. Well, for sure. We see the Justice and the Queen of Swords at the beginning, and then we saw the Knight of Swords. It's like... um. Somebody deserves an award, right? This is acknowledging too. Like this isn't easy. It's like you, and this is also like the type of person, Virgo, this is you, Virgo. This is somebody that it, they don't, it's not that they're rough or they're tough, but they're not, they're not going to allow you to take the easy route. They, they, they're going to, um, I don't want to say make you, but allow you, give you the opportunity, right? To make things right, but make them right. 
This is no half ass. It's like, okay. If there's a part in here, if there's forgiveness, it's because somebody did what they were supposed to do. Nothing more or nothing less. Right. And that deserves an award. Like I'm just seeing this as acknowledgement of like, okay, somebody paid their dues. Somebody paid their dues for each and every one of you. How those dues are paid is going to differ for each and every one of you. But look, somebody uh, did their time. <laughs> right. They took their their judgment. They served their time. And look, they're they're a free man. They're a free woman now. So this is, this is vindication. This is a validation to an, not an acknowledging, right? Like, um, okay, you deserve, you, you're, you're deserving, you're deserving. Accept your well-earned pride, praise, praise. Oh, look, this is praise. Oh, so look, this is this this is big, guys. Does somebody somebody deserves a standing ovation? Don't make me stand up. This is a standing ovation, right? This is um, this is praise again confirmation validation like there's there's somebody acknowledging you know what i can i can i i'm proud of you but also yeah like i'm proud of you like i'm happy like there's there's just great strides growth growth let's call it, yeah growth that's happening here and and it's like you can see it and that's where the praise comes from award I dare say that this is also a gift, guys, from the universe. Accept your well-earned praise. All right, let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have food, eating. Be mindful of the thoughts you are ingesting, okay? Be mindful. Be mindful of the thoughts you are ingesting. Yeah, we see it here in the Seven of Cups. You know, so this is about what you tell yourself. So that's being highlighted, right? Maybe that's where the praise is coming from. Be mindful of the thoughts you are ingesting. Okay. Let's continue. That's what's happening. That's what's going on, guys. I'm not going to focus on the future from here on out. Now, I'm not going to say I will never look into the future in love readings, but this time around, at the very least, I want to just focus on the present. If you want to know about the future, check out December's reading. The I'm focusing on the present moment. Let's see. Let's see. Tell me more. What? How do you want to close? How do you? How do you want to close this reading, Holy Spirit? What else do we tell my dear uh, Virgo about their, their love life, their relationships, their connections? Let's see about here, about what's going on. I like this, guys. It seems as though, again, like I, I see somebody deserving forgiveness. I, oof. You're going to do that to me, Virgo. Like I'm, I'm trying to close up. You see me getting ready to close up your reading and you throw all that to me. And I'm seeing somebody throw up. Uh, we have the six of swords. Okay, we have a connection. We have a relationship, guys, that is moving towards a healthier, more peaceful, more harmonious place. It's at the present, there's a there's a positive transition happening. So this is about well, moving away from conflict. The real, let's just say, let's not focus on the past. I, the relationship is moving towards uh, a better place. Relationship is, is making a positive transition. Both of these people look exhausted. They do. Like, honestly, I feel like both, I, I think here we have two people that are just exhausted. 
Like I don't even have the energy. <laughs> I don't have the time. I definitely don't have the energy to um, entertain conflict. Like let's just agree to disagree. <laughs> is what that feels like. Let's agree to disagree. And uh, let's just, you know, enjoy. What else can we do? We made it, right? We're on this boat together. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. We have the Empress, a relationship, a connection, guys, that this, this time around, right now, this month of November is experiencing a lot of growth. A person being able to see the growth somebody has made, both of you being able to see it in each other, one particular person for sure. This is endless potential. It's like the ground is fertile, guys. Oh, look, there's a cute little cow. Oh, that little, what a cute little cow. Oh my God, we have the star. Okay, hold on. How was I picking these, how was I flipping them over? Okay, Empress. This is this is nurturing the relationship, guys. This 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 also is advice. It's also saying this relationship re requires a lot of love, a lot of, a lot of tender, loving care. Ooh, grapes. There's grapes right there. Okay, we have the two of swords. We have the four of pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords, and then we have the Star. All right, this is not a time to be greedy. This is not a time to be stingy. This is not a time to breadcrumb anybody. Okay, we have the Empress card. It's, it, and it, it's, so this is saying like splurge, give this is a this is a time to give the yeah of generosity to give of your your time of your energy and and to i'm hearing it to do it freely without any sort of restraint okay because guys we have a relationship a connection that needs this right now look i don't know i don't know this is doubt like i don't really know what to do this is hesitation and if there's any hesitation look the hesitation creates this, this withholding vibe, which is based out of fear. This is keeping it safe. This is the last thing that you should be doing. But also being understanding guys that, um, you know, there, there could be some fear here, especially so because the 10 of swords is here. So this is uh, something incredibly unpleasant, but look, it's ending. Harsh times of, are over. I really like this because there's a phoenix, isn't there? There's a phoenix rising. So, you know, the phoenix is about going through, having to overcome unsurmountable challenges, but doing so. It's it's hitting rock bottom. It's, it's going through something t just horrific that feels like you're not gonna ever come out of it. It's, it's hitting your lowest place. That the lowest place you've ever hit, and, but being able to rise back up and transform yourself, that it's transforming oneself through a, 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 a harsh experience and um, re-emerging a different person, re-emerging stronger. It's the hard times are over, okay? It's, it's like have... It, which is why I said a little while ago, like, you know, having to be understanding that, you know, maybe there could be a little fear right now because, because of the stage that we're in, right? Remain hopeful. Remain hopeful. Hard times, the, the worst part is over. You, you can expect it, that you have faith. There's a bright future. Things are uh, getting better already. You're uh, you're out of the woods. I'm hearing. But look, there's a little bit of like fear. A little bit. Do you see four of pentacles holding on? And this will manifest as um, could okay be interpreted as 
like being stingy or with your time, with your energy, breadcrumbing somebody, it could, it could look that way, which is why we have that seven of cups. And what was the advice a little, a little while earlier? Like, okay, don't like things are not what they appear. Things are not what they appear. That's why the two of swords is here. Always know if, with every thought that you have regarding this relationship, this connection, the thought that should follow that thought is, do I have all, all, do I have all the details? And the answer is no. You don't have all the details, so don't act like you do, okay? And again, all that means is because you don't have all the details, it's not a smart idea to jump, um, you know, to take certain actions, right? To jump into certain conclusions. And it's, it's directly connected with this four of pentacles. It, it's, it's a state of, of fear. Also of, 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 um, this is having like, it, I see somebody having difficulties stepping out of their comfort zone just a little bit. So that's what it is. It's like, if it's, 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 uh, could be also stuck in their ways just a little bit. So that's what we have. All right, guys, let me, that's what's happening. That's what's going on right now. Let's close this reading and I'm done. Like I, I did Taurus. I did um, next I, Virgo. I have to do Capricorn next, but I'm not like I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. All right, let's see. Let's see. Closing messages for Virgo. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VultureVoyageTarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. Radiant Goddess Acceptance. You are an amazing goddess ready to fully understand how significant you are. Tap into that part of who you are by owning your beauty and power by not making any apologies for it. Nice. Let's get two more. Okay. Maybe 10 more. <laughs> Let's read them all. Leadership forefront. You have the opportunity to take the lead. It may be in work, personal or family situations. You have the wisdom and knowledge to do what is best at this time. No more playing it safe and blending in with the pack. Shine your light and speak your truth. Inflexible. You or the person involved are set in their ways, are set in ways that are impending growth. Be more open-minded and see the other person's point of view to expand your perspective in a healthy way. Oftentimes being too rigid masks the problem that causes imbalance and unrest. Flexibility is needed to create flow. Intuition, wisdom, gifts. Honor your innate ability to see psychically and trust your gut feelings trust your guidance and the vibrations you feel when you truly step into your abilities all of your senses rush in look into expanding your gifts by taking classes journaling meditating and listening to your inner voice time to evolve decisions it's not a negative situation but a necessary one having the awareness to see it from your soul's perspective that you chose much of this before you incarnated is needed this releases the victimhood mentality and pulls back your power we must go through trials and tribulations as an opportunity to evolve. Ooh, yeah. How you choose to interpret the situation hinges on your growth or not. Humanitarian service, your soul longs to joyfully serve. Being of servant is being of service is a huge calling that is honorable and satisfying. How are you being called to serve humanity? Serve with grace and humility to assist those that cannot help themselves. Be an advocate, a confidant, and an inspiration along the way. This is what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>